I sense you. I feel you. <sighs> Who? Who's there? Alan. Could it be Joe? This thing's alive. I think I can communicate with it using this keyboard. Please, isn't this enough? Turn off the machine, let me die. Hmm, you. You're not a researcher. Please, for years, wicked scientists have experimented on me with that stone. Over and over. And now this is what I have become. Turn off the machine. I beg you. You. What do you want? Who are you? No. Don't worry. I'm just a waitress. Ah. Someone from JSL. I sensed some sort of crisis in the hotel. stone on this station? Yes. I see. I was a fool. I thought that the stone would bring happiness to the world, the way it had done for our family. Really? Too much corruption in the world. Television, politicians, the people on the streets, everywhere. The evils of jealousy and greed have corrupted our planet. It's true. This is the world that they would produce more of the stones for. I beg you, turn off this machine. All right. Thank you. There is one last thing I wish you could do. What is it? Yes. In Japan, there is a woman named Ryo. Onai. I want you to find her and tell her her mother still lives. Tell her to find her mother. There's an account in her name at the Swiss Union Bank. Enough money there so she can have a good life. That's her father. You do this for me. What is wrong? Please. I beg you to do this. I won't fail. <laughs> Thank you. You are very kind. Farewell. Please, God. Please, please impress me. Rio. I'm so sorry. Hurry. Do it. Please. Scientists did that to me. That craft bastard. Whoa. What the? It's a wobble. Attention. Angular adjustment in progress. Angular adjustment in progress. Correcting anomaly in orbital trajectory. Angular adjustment complete. Collision with Earth's surface in 32 minutes, 12 seconds. What? Point of impact, 35 degrees, 40 minutes north latitude, 139 degrees, 45 minutes east longitude, Tokyo, Japan. Something's wrong. Someone's altered the station orbit. Not all the terrorists were killed. Collision with Earth's surface in 31 minutes, 55 seconds. How could they all alter the coordinates? I'm the operator. How? Station's falling to Earth. What should we do? The hatch is open. Okay. I'll come get you right now. Yeah. We'll have to split up and find Naomi somehow. Okay.
We have to hurry. There's not much time left. Rio! Are you okay? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no, please, please, please. Naomi, I'm here. Naomi. me to save you. Whatever happens, I will save you. Will you wait for me? Yes. Thank you, Operator. I don't know if you realize this. Maybe you already know. These monsters... Some are actually people who've mutated, but not Naomi. She lived and died a beautiful woman. Thank you. We should probably go. <sighs> Joe Powers. Hold it. Don't try anything you'll regret later. Powers. You son of a bitch. Would you like to know what you've done? <laughs> you and the operator, you killed the girl that your operator was searching for. <laughs> How ironic that you doomed the one person you were trying to save. You turned her into a monster, didn't you? I've been in the lab watching everything you've been doing, just as you guessed. The story about the UFO is a lie. <laughs> the so-called aliens are nothing more than mutated animals created by the stone and accursed words. But why stop there? Testing on animals wasn't enough to satisfy a person such as myself. Always in search of knowledge, I had to know exactly what effect the stone would have on a human being. <laughs> you inhumane bastard. <laughs> you used her for some twisted experiment? Absolutely. Monstrous as she appeared, she never meant to harm anyone, yet you killed her. 
All she was doing was asking for her boyfriend. We didn't kill her. She didn't mean to kill anyone. We didn't kill her. She was totally unaware of the threat she posed to those around her. Oh yes, her boyfriend. He's been your operator, correct? He's been poisoned by the toxin from a mutated caterpillar. He'll surely die. I'm the one who locked him in the monitor room. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> You're a heartless bastard. Well, it's too late to save him. <laughs> of course, being on this station, it won't make a difference. <laughs> So it was you who altered the station's orbit? That's correct, Rio Hohenheim. I still find it puzzling. I'm an accomplished marksman, and I was certain I'd shot you in the heart that time. But I won't fail twice. Rio! Rio! Rio. This wound on my arm, and this was his doing. The daughter of such a brilliant man. I'm amazed at how stupid you are. Joseph Kraft, my German birth name, translates to Joe Powers in English. Well, I'd better be off with the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh. Rio? Rio, your chest. What is that? Kraft. You're lying. That's not the Philosopher's Stone. And, by the way, you didn't miss. Many years ago, you shot me through the heart. And I really did die. My father took the stone, pressed it into my wound, it revived me. And I escaped. It's been keeping me alive ever since. What you have there is only good for creating monsters. It's a fake. Look, about Naomi, I'm so sorry. You saw it? There was nothing I could do. I know. I swear it. I will not let you die, I promise. Using the real stone, I can keep you alive. And get you to a hospital. Thank you. Hatch three. Hatch three. Okay. Save point. The save point. Okay. And that will be our playthrough of Lifeline this time, guys. Well, it looks like we know the truth now about everything. That explosion must have been caused by him. Or maybe it was just an accident. Either way, yeah, we all know what... Well, we all know everything now. What that stone was, what the aliens were, everything. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this playthrough. So, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for our final playthrough. <laughs>